president is being told that if he stays in, former President Trump could win in a landslide and wipe away Biden's legacy. Nobody's going to wipe away Biden's legacy. The legacy of harm this man did, all he did was harm. The dis- everything was disgusting. Those of you who took out student loans and paid it are suckers in the eyes of the Democratic Party. Do you get that? You repaid your debt. You're a fool. Just elect a Democrat and you will be absolved of your debt. Allowing the colleges and universities to charge ever more money aside from the, the contempt for people who actually did pay back their debt. Supreme Court ruled that he couldn't do it, and he said, I'm ignoring the Supreme Court. Democrats fully expect polls after the Republican National Convention to show a possible blowout that could bring down Democrats in Congress, too. Of of course it should. Who cares? What? Biden, Harris, Newsom, uh, any, any of the other. Who are these other people who have ruined American life. Pritzker? Oh, it's so painful to me. Biden, it's such a mistake. It's such a terrible mistake. Even if Biden stayed and Biden were not in any way suffering mental incapacity, it would be stupid to focus just on him. Why isn't this obvious who, who, who makes up the speeches for the Republican Party? Biden, Bi- Biden, Schmiden. It's Democrats. His choice is to be one of history's heroes. Oh, my God. One of the president's close friends told us, one of history's heroes. If Joe Biden is regarded by history as a hero, it means that the only people writing histories will be leftists. Mm. Yesterday's AP poll showing nearly two-thirds of Democrats want Biden to withdraw from the presidential race, ricocheted through the White House and Congress. A panic pressure campaign is pounding Biden. It has been relentless and coordinated. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer told Biden in Delaware on Saturday, the day of the assassination attempt on Trump, that it would be best if he dropped out. ABC News first reported, Dems on Capitol Hill want him out and worry they'll lose winnable seats if not. Former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, a mastermind of the campaign to get Biden out, told him that he could destroy Democrats' chances of taking back the House. We're told she also worried about donations drying up. House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries, Democrat New York, delivered a similar if more subtle message to Biden. Former President Obama has spoken loudly with his silence and his former aides trashing Biden in public. Bill and Hillary Clinton are doing what Obama is doing. So are their former aides. We increasingly hear top Biden aides, including ones who initially urged him to fight on after his disastrous debate, are saying it's now now when, not if, Biden announces he's not running. Between the Lines Democratic insiders were hoping to avoid this. They love and respect Biden and appreciate his historic accomplishments. This is Axios. What are his historic accomplishments? Giving the most divisive, hate-filled inaugural address in American history? As we told you, this is Axios, 18 days ago, a Democratic official said Biden will not be dragged off the stage. The goal is to let him walk off the stage. 
But he wouldn't take the hints loud as they got, so it's come to this. He's forcing people who like him and respect him to resort to trying to shame him. Well, it'll work, in my opinion. I hope it doesn't. I hope he runs. But it doesn't matter whether he runs or not. It's the Democratic Party that has been taken over by a vile force, a completely nihilistic force in American life. For the full episode of The Dennis Prager Show, go to PragerTopia.com, sign up, and become a full member.